is Gabriel De La Garza. I am the owner um, of Jitters Coffee Bar. So back in 2001, when I got married, um, we started going to a coffee shop, a small coffee shop there in McAllen. It was a new experience for me. I never knew anything about specialty coffee. Um, and so when I first started going there, I just started trying a lot of the different drinks. And I bought an espresso machine for my house, a little small one, a little home machine. Back then there was, you know, it was very limited what you could do at home, uh, unless you bought a commercial machine. But I bought a small uh, home machine and started making stuff at the house. My dad owned this building that we're in right now, and he asked me to come check it out to see if I wanted to do anything with it. Walked in here and never imagined that I would want to open up a coffee shop, but when I walked in here, I saw the potential that we had here in Mission uh, to be able to bring something different to the city. I thought it'd be a really cool idea to open up here in Mission and bring specialty coffee to, to the city. You gotta think of a lot of the businesses now have the social media platform to run on um, as soon as they start and as soon as they open up their business. So when we started, it was really tough. So a lot of the advertisement that we did was, was through print. So uh, we did some local newspaper ads. We did, we had a feature on the, on the monitor a few times. Uh, but other than that, it was, it, it was really tough to get people off the street, especially because when we first started, we didn't even have a parking lot, no signs, no nothing. We started really slow. Uh, after a year of doing that, we realized, kind of figured that it was going to be something big. Social media platforms weren't super popular back then. So what we, what we did is more a word of mouth. We would give somebody something or give people samples. And Now implementing that now, it, it, I think it's very different though. Uh, it could be considered word of mouth if you can get people to kind of like interact on your social media platforms. You know, you get on Instagram, Twitter, uh, uh, Snapchat, Facebook, and, and you boost the post, you know, or, or you put something out and you have your friends share it, and it's just that easy, that's, you know, that's easily 50 people that you reach that want to come to the event, not counting all the people that are gonna get the after, you know, the aftershock. say if I'm promoting a certain drink, I know the type of person that wants to try that drink, right? When I'm promoting a certain kind of uh, coffee bean, I know that there are a group of people that are waiting for us to put out a you know, certain kind of coffee. Uh, so it's just about knowing your clientele, the, your customers, and being able to inform them of what we have available. It's I was bartending for two years before this, so it gave me a little bit of experience, a little bit of flexibility. I'm able to pump out drinks a little bit faster because I'm used to I'm used to a rush. But uh, it's a whole different ball game, coffee and uh, bartending. So it's a lot different. But I do enjoy this one. It's a little bit of uh, the measurements, the science. It's appealing to my to my nature. I, I think here in, in the valley in general is kind of untapped. You have, you know, a coffee shop, and, you know, almost like one or two per city. But 
there's just so much untapped market, you know, like from here to, you know, I have, we have the high schools here, we have veteran, veterans over here, and we have Mission over here. And then, if you think about it, you're from La Jolla, I mean, from here to Timbuktu, I don't know if there's a coffee shop anywhere over there, you know. Put your product out, you know, and don't mess it up. That's all you got. This is the, the coolest thing that we've seen is that when people come back to Mission after they finish college, you know, we have a lot of students that go off to school and they come back. They come back and over the holidays and they're here with their friends, you know, all over again, trying to relive their memories. And that, that to me is the most special part about it is that you've created an environment where uh, people made memories, you know, and the social impact of that is, is unmatched. And that's why we teach our baristas to make sure that they make connections with uh, the people that walk in here because, I mean, it has, you know, it has a big impact on whether they come back or not. And then on top of that, you know, on top of everything, you treat people like people, you know. Uh, you treat pe people fairly, uh, our, you know, we, we try to make our prices as fair as, po as possible, um, and we try to treat people the way we would want to be treated as well. So.